Justin from Canada and the Canadian government have settled out of court for $10.5 million. To whom? And why? Well, the Canadian government felt guilty that a Canadian-born citizen would commit an act of terror, throwing a hand grenade at and killing a United States soldier. Well, they didn't feel guilty that the man killed a U.S. soldier. They felt guilty that the man was imprisoned at Guantanamo Bay. They felt guilty that this man, Omar Khadr, who murdered a United States soldier in the name of his terrorist affiliation, the Taliban, was then in prison at Gitmo. That's right, they didn't feel guilty that a Canadian-born citizen would be a terrorist, or that he would belong to the Taliban, or that he would actually murder a U.S. soldier, a soldier from a neighboring country, I might add. They didn't really feel that bad about that. In fact, they didn't even offer any money to the widowed family at all. But yet, $10.5 million to the man who was an official terrorist and killed an American citizen because they felt bad that he was at Gitmo. Seriously. Here's Justin from Canada giving his thoughts on the subject. I can understand Canadians' concerns uh, about the settlement. Uh, in fact, I, I share those concerns about the money. That's why we settled. If we had continued to fight this, not only would we have inevitably lost, but uh, estimates range from 30 to 40 million dollars. So let me get this straight, Mr. Justin from Canada. You gave this man 10 and a half million dollars of taxpayer money because if you fought it, you were going to inevitably lose. Way to, way to have faith in your justice system. And how the fuck does this man deserve 10 million, let alone this 30 to 40 million? In what way would this be the amount that is mandated? This dude fucking killed a U.S. soldier. Is anyone bothered by this? I, it pisses me off. I find it as a personal insult, if I'm being honest, from Canada. Another gesture of good faith from Canada, giving the U.S. a passive-aggressive middle finger. Well, let me tell you something, Justin Trudeau. I like Canadians. I like individuals that live there. But the Canadian government can go fuck itself, okay? M103, C16? Are you kidding me? This country has made itself into a fucking joke over the past three years, mostly within the last year. It's funny, everyone's talking about how bad Donald Trump is whenever his son does something, or all of these imaginary things that they keep pulling out of nowhere. And then Justin Trudeau does something like this, and where do you hear any of this on the mainstream media? I found out about this from Tucker Carlson, actually. Um, it got shared on my Twitter timeline, and I, I, I couldn't believe my fucking ears. The fact that they would give a, an, a legitimate terrorist, a person that, yeah, was with, that, with the Taliban, you're going to give him $10 million because he felt bad that he was in Gitmo. It's beyond words. I, I feel like there's something I could say, but this, I, this is a new low, even for the Canadian government. For fuck's sake, I'm... I'm willing to bet there are a lot of Canadians that are pretty pissed off and embarrassed about this shit right now, Justin. Alright, sorry for that little bit of a rant, but let's go ahead and proceed to what I actually wrote down to talk about. Ten and a half million dollars! Not only does this man not deserve an entitlement like this, this is certainly not a human right. A person does not have a right to ten and a half million dollars in taxpayer money, especially since the Canadian economy is doing very badly. They don't exactly have the money to spare. Justin says this was about human rights, as he at least he will in the next clip. But what violation occurred? What did Canada do to this man that warrants giving him so much money that is supposed to go to fund public programs rather than radical terrorist groups? This is likely putting money directly in the hands of terrorists. I'm starting to believe that Justin may actually be Fidel Castro's son after all. This is a massive insult from Canada, and I can't imagine what other purposes giving this man so much fucking money would serve other than possibly virtue signaling. Unless he is actually trying to give the terrorists money. Which, in either case, fuck you, Justin. You, you're a piece of shit. The measure of a society, of a just society, it's not whether we stand up for people's rights 
when it's easy or popular to do so. It's whether we recognize rights when it's difficult, when it's unpopular. What right was taken away from this man? What happened to this man that makes him entitled to ten and a half million dollars of taxpayer money? Keep in mind, this shit doesn't come from out of thin air. Ten and a half million dollars. Keep keep saying that to yourself. Ten and a half million dollars. Why does he deserve that amount of money? I, I'm curious to know the details. Maybe he did undergo some really terrible shit at Guantanamo Bay. I'm willing to hear it out. But now that they just went ahead and settled out of court, we'll never know. And allowing the judges to decide everything would have been much more easier to digest. At least they would have had a ruling and a reasoning for everything. But instead, we get Justin Trudeau to trot his worthless sack of cum self out on stage, or wherever the hell he's at, to tell everyone, this is about human rights! This is about human rights! I'm such a good person because I care about human rights? That's really all he's fucking saying. Well, you don't really give a shit about the human's rights that got blown up by a fucking grenade by one of your goddamn citizens, and you awarded the man with $10 million. You didn't talk to his widow. You didn't, maybe he has children. You didn't give a shit about them either. You use this as an opportunity to virtue signal about how you care more about this terrorist than you do your own fucking citizens. This is outrageous. I, I don't know what to say. I'm trying to record some of this, but I have to keep doing more and more takes because I just devolve into name calling we are a society that stands up for people's rights and when governments fail to respect people's rights we all end up paying it's funny you should bring that up we all have to pay you know who didn't have to pay the man who murdered a u.s soldier and you in fact gave the man ten and a half million dollars of taxpayer money i apologize for hammering that point home again and again and again. This is mind-boggling to me. Canada, I want to have a good relationship with you, but what the fuck was that? I know, hashtag not all Canadians, in fact, a lot of Canadians are getting fed up with this shit. So Trump's a joke, huh? Trump's just a piece of shit, right? Just, oh, Trump, Russia, oh, he called a woman fat. Oh, grab him by the pussy. Yeah, what a terrible guy. You know what he didn't do, though? He didn't give $10.5 million to a fucking terrorist who murdered a U.S. soldier. I, I'm sorry. I'm going to keep getting pissed off if I keep talking about this, but I needed to bring this up on my channel because seeing the little clip I just saw on my Twitter feed, just I, I spent the last like 10 minutes going, this can't be real. This must be South Park. This can't, This isn't reality. What kind of cucked out piece of shit would do something like that? Oh, Justin from Canada would. So sincerely, from an American citizen, fuck you, Justin. You're a piece of shit. Seriously. You know what, Canada? You guys are cool. Canadians, y'all are all right. This guy, real fucking ugly. So I'm going to go ahead and play this clip from South Park, and I think it illustrates my point entirely. What say you, Mr. American Ambassador? Fuck Canada! 